Air travel across the Midwest is slowly returning to normal after an attempted suicide. For a while, all flights were grounded at the world's second busiest airport. More than 1,300 flights canceled at Chicago's O'Hare and Midway airports. Here's what we know right now. A contract employee at a Chicago area air traffic control center apparently set a fire and tried to kill himself. Two law enforcement officials tell CNN that the employee has cuts on at least one wrist. And police say the incident is not related to terrorism. I want to bring in now our Ted Rollins. He's at Chicago's O'Hare. So, Ted, what's the very latest from uh, authorities on this very bizarre story? Well, the, what they're doing now, Don, is inter interviewing that individual who tried to commit suicide and who uh, apparently started this fire, which has caused so much chaos. Uh, meanwhile, they're also assessing the damage. That controlled facility, which is located in Aurora, Illinois, which is about 40 miles outside Chicago, uh, it is still down. Some work is being done at a facility in Indianapolis, and that is enabling a few flights to trickle in and out of O'Hare and Midway and Milwaukee, but uh, the lion's share of the flights are still grounded here and in airports across the country and this is the result is uh, lines uh, extending literally hundreds of people in these terminals uh, in line and a lot of these folks have been waiting for hours being rebooked people uh, started uh, this process started uh, in the 6 a.m. hour this morning and it has caused as you can imagine a, a massive ripple effect uh, across the country and it continues the FAA uh, has extended the ground stop for another two hours till 4 p.m. or hour and a half, 4 p.m. Eastern time. They'll reassess at that point. Uh, and we're also awaiting a news conference from Aurora with local authorities for more information about this individual that tried to kill himself and apparently set this fire. So my next question you may not be able to answer because I was, I was going to ask you, who is this guy? Uh, we know he's a contract employee, but what do we know about him and, and where is he now? We. Well, we know it's a male, and that's it. We don't know his age, and uh, we're not sure of his circumstances. There has been uh, some reporting that he was an electrician, but we have not been able to confirm that. He was a contract yeah. employee who had access, obviously, to get into that facility in Aurora, but that's all we know at this point. Hopefully, we'll get more yep. uh, information uh, at this news conference. At but that conference. local authorities yeah. want to emphasize this is not a terrorism scenario.